dear dhamma friends and uh, dear dhamma children today i am going to talk with you some dhamma facts about inner silence about inner peace the silence the peace that should be within you that should be within me and that should be within us as well i am going to talk with you about how this inner silence works in relishing or in enjoying the nature at the end of my talk you can participate in a small meditation and if you pursue that meditation you can improve your inner silence all right now i'm going to relate the following anecdote for your better understanding lao tzu he was the founder of taoism he would go for a walk every evening with one of his students and there was a strict rule that no one must speak during the walk once one new student got the honorary chance to accompany him on his walk that day the master and the new student came to a ridge in the mountains and the sun was just dropping below the horizon the sky the western sky was very colorful gorgeously colorful the sky was streaked with crimson gold and yellow it was like fluttering banners for some divine celebration seeing this gorgeous view the new student exclaimed excitedly wow what a beautiful sunset now this new student has broken the strict rule of silence the master turned around and walked back to his monastery what's wrong with commenting on such a glorious sunset anyway it is just one word one sentence when the master was asked he said when my student said wow what a beautiful sunset he was not seeing the sunset anymore but he was only noticing some words about it he was uttering some words about it now is there any difference between seeing something and noticing some words about it yes there is a difference there is a fundamental difference between seeing something for yourself or experiencing something for yourself and noticing or uttering some words about it if you see something for yourself you experience it for yourself that's for you but if you notice or utter some words about something you are no longer participating in the moment because if you notice some words about something or if you utter some words you are thinking about it 
in our thinking or in our thoughts there are so many things concepts are they are in our thoughts labels are there commentaries are there comments are there judgments are there so there are so many things in our thinking our thinking is just like someone who is beside us and describing the events describing the situation surroundings so it's a inner speech or in a chatter that we have within us our inner chatter our inner speech describes the situations the surroundings for us this inner chatter this inner speech is interfering in explaining or describing the things for us it doesn't allow us freely enjoy the moments so in our thoughts in our thinking this inner chatter this inner speech activates so this is the fundamental difference between seeing something for yourself and experiencing something for yourself and uttering or noticing some words about something if you see something that is for, for us that is experiencing if we notice some words that is thinking so in our thoughts in our thinking there are judgments and concepts and commentaries and all that so these things are in a speech or in a chatter this in a chatter or this in a speech doesn't allow us think freely and enjoy the moments freely now take the moon for example on a full moon day at a very clear and spacious night when the sky is free of clouds you can see the moon now you are looking at the moon looking at the moon you are seeing it now you see the moon you are experiencing the moon and imagine that there is someone beside you now that person is also giving a commentary for you about the moon and the situations and the surrounding now what is very close to you whether seeing by yourself whether experiencing by yourself the moon or listening to the person's explanation which is very close to you listening to the person's explanation or description or seeing the moon by yourself experiencing the moon by yourself experiencing or seeing the moon for yourself is 
much closer to truth. It is very closer to you because for your seeing, for your experiencing, it adds nothing and it subtracts nothing and there is no any distortion. All right, now we will do some meditation. It's very easy to establish inner silence within us. The exercise which is following help you. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes and relax your body for a moment. Now voicelessly recite to yourself over and over again Namo Tassa like this Namo Tassa Namo Tassa Namo Tassa Namo Tassa Recite voicelessly to yourself for a moment and next you start to put pauses between the syllables like this na mo ta -sa. like that Put pauses in between the syllables. Now gradually increase the length of the spaces like this voicelessly to yourself. Na -ta -sa. Like that. Now if thoughts come in between the syllables, shorten the spaces again like this. Like that. Now start lengthening the poses again like this. Like that, when the spaces between the syllables become long, you will experience for yourself the indescribable inner silence. May all of you be well and happy.